In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. The Noble Qur'an, Part 15, Chapter 17, Al-Isra, The Night Journey. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Exalted is he who took his servant, that is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, by night from Al-Masjid Al-Haram to Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa, whose surroundings we have blessed, to show him of our signs. Indeed, he is the hearing, the seeing. And we gave Moses the scripture and made it a guidance for the children of Israel that you not take other than me as disposer of affairs. O descendants of those we carried in the ship with Noah, indeed he was a grateful servant. And we conveyed to the children of Israel in the scripture that you will surely cause corruption on the earth twice, and you will surely reach a degree of great haughtiness. So when the time of promise came for the first of them, we sent against you servants of ours, those of great military might, and they probed even into the homes, and it was a promise fulfilled. Then we gave back to you a return victory over them, and we reinforced you with wealth and sons, and made you more numerous in manpower, and said, If you do good, you do good for yourselves, and if you do evil, you do it to them, that is yourselves. Then, when the final, that is the second promise came, we sent your enemies to sadden your faces, and to enter the masjid, that is the temple in Jerusalem as they entered it the first time, and to destroy what they had taken over with total destruction. Then Allah said, It is expected, if you repent, that your Lord will have mercy upon you. But if you return to sin, we will return to punishment, and we have made hell for the disbelievers a prison bed. Indeed, this Qur'an guides to that which is most suitable and gives good tidings to the believers who do righteous deeds, that they will have a great reward, and that those who do not believe in the hereafter, we have prepared for them a painful punishment. And man supplicates for evil when angry, as he supplicates for good, and man is ever hasty. And we have made the night and day two signs, and we erased the sign of the night, and made the sign of the day visible that you may seek bounty from your Lord, and may know the number of years and the account of time, and everything we have set out in detail. And for every person we have imposed his fate upon his neck, and we will produce for him on the day of resurrection a record which he will encounter spread open. It will be said, Read your record, sufficient is yourself against you this day as accountant. Whoever is guided is only guided for the benefit of his soul, and whoever errs only errs against it, and no bearer of burdens will bear the burden of another, and never would we punish until we sent a messenger. And when we intend to destroy a city, we command its affluent, but they defiantly disobey therein, so the word that is deserved decree comes into effect upon it, and we destroy it with complete destruction. And how many have we destroyed from the generations after Noah, and sufficient is your Lord concerning the sins of his servants, as acquainted and seeing. Whoever should desire the immediate, we hasten for him from it what we will to whom we intend. Then we have made for him hell, which he will enter to burn, censured, and banished. But whoever desires the hereafter, and exerts the effort due to it, while he is a believer, it is those whose effort is ever appreciated by Allah. To each category we extend, to these and to those, from the gift of your Lord, and never has the gift of your Lord been restricted. Look how we have favoured in provision some of them over others, but the hereafter is greater in degrees of difference and greater in distinction. Do not make as equal with Allah another deity, and thereby become censured and forsaken. And your Lord has decreed that you not worship except Him, and to parents good treatment, whether one or both of them reach old age while with you. Say not to them so much as uff, and do not repel them, but speak to them a noble word, and lower to them the wing of humility out of mercy, and say, My Lord, have mercy upon them, as they brought me up when I was small. Your Lord is most knowing of what is within yourselves. If you should be righteous in intention, then indeed he is ever to the often returning to him forgiving. 
and give the relative his right, and also the poor and the traveller, and do not spend wastefully. Indeed, the wasteful are brothers of the devils, and ever has Satan been to his lord ungrateful. And if you must turn away from them, that is the needy, awaiting mercy from your lord which you expect, then speak to them a gentle word. And do not make your hand as chained to your neck, or extend it completely, and thereby become blamed and insolvent. Indeed, your Lord extends provision for whom he wills, and restricts it. Indeed, he is ever, concerning his servants, acquainted and seeing. And do not kill your children for fear of poverty. We provide for them and for you. Indeed, their killing is ever a great sin. And do not approach unlawful sexual intercourse. Indeed, it is ever an immorality, and is evil as a way. And do not kill the soul that is person, which Allah has forbidden, except by right. And whoever is killed unjustly, we have given his heir authority, but let him not exceed limits in the matter of taking life. Indeed, he has been supported by the law. And do not approach the property of an orphan, except in the way that is best, until he reaches maturity. And fulfill every commitment. Indeed, the commitment is ever that about which one will be questioned and give full measure when you measure, and weigh with an even that is honest balance, that is the best way, and best in result. And do not pursue that of which you have no knowledge, indeed the hearing, the sight, and the heart, about all those one will be questioned. And do not walk upon the earth exultantly, indeed you will never tear the earth apart, and you will never reach the mountains in height. All that, that is the aforementioned, its evil is ever, in the sight of your Lord, detested. That is from what your Lord has revealed to you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, of wisdom. And O mankind, do not make as equal with Allah another deity, lest you be thrown into hell, blamed and banished. Then has your Lord chosen you for having sons, and taken that is adopted from among the angels, daughters. Indeed, you say a grave saying, and we have certainly diversified the contents in this Qur'an, that they, that is mankind, may be reminded, but it does not increase them, that is the disbelievers, except in aversion. Say, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, if there had been with him other gods, as they say, then they each would have sought to the owner of the throne away. Exalted is he, and high above what they say by great sublimity, the seven heavens and the earth, and whatever is in them, exalt him. And there is not a thing except that it exalts Allah by his praise. But you do not understand their way of exalting. Indeed, he is ever forbearing and forgiving. And when you recite the Qur'an, we put between you and those who do not believe in the hereafter a concealed partition. And we have placed over their hearts coverings, lest they understand it, and in their ears deafness. And when you mention your Lord alone in the Qur'an, they turn back in aversion. We are most knowing of how they listen to it, when they listen to you, and of when they are in private conversation. When the wrongdoers say, You follow not but a man affected by magic. Look how they strike for you comparisons, but they have strayed, so they cannot find a way. And they say, When we are bones and crumbled particles, will we truly be resurrected as a new creation? Say, be you stones or iron, or any creation of that which is great within your breasts, and they will say, Who will restore us? Say, He who brought you forth the first time. Then they will nod their heads toward you and say, When is that? Say, Perhaps it will be soon. On the day he will call you, and you will respond with praise of him, and think that you had not remained in the world except for a little. And tell my servants to say that which is best. Indeed, Satan induces dissension among them. Indeed, Satan is ever, to mankind, a clear enemy. Your Lord is most knowing of you. If he wills, he will have mercy upon you. Or, if he wills, he will punish you. And we have not sent you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, over them as a manager. And your Lord is most knowing of whoever is in the heavens and the earth. And we have made some of the prophets exceed others in various ways. And to David we gave the book of Psalms. Say, invoke those you have claimed as gods besides him, for they do not possess the ability for removal of adversity from you, or for its transfer to someone else. 
Those whom they invoke seek means of access to their Lord, striving as to which of them would be nearest, and they hope for his mercy and fear his punishment. Indeed, the punishment of your Lord is ever feared. And there is no city but that we will destroy it before the day of resurrection, or punish it with a severe punishment that has ever been in the register inscribed. And nothing has prevented us from sending signs, that is miracles, except that the former peoples denied them. And we gave Thamud, the she-camel, as a visible sign, but they wronged her. And we send not the signs except as a warning. And remember, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, when we told you, Indeed your Lord has encompassed the people, and we did not make the sight which we showed you, except as a trial for the people, as was the accursed tree mentioned in the Qur'an, and we threaten that is warn them, but it increases them not, except in great transgression. And mention when we said to the angels, Prostrate to Adam, and they prostrated except for Iblis, he said, Should I prostrate to one you created from clay? Iblis said, do you see this one whom you have honoured above me? If you delay me, that is my death, until the day of resurrection, I will surely destroy his descendants, except for a few. Allah said, Go, for whoever of them follows you, indeed hell will be the recompense of all of you, an ample recompense. An incite to senselessness, whoever you can among them, with your voice, and assault them with your horses and foot soldiers, and become a partner in their wealth and their children, and promise them. But Satan does not promise them except delusion. Indeed, over my believing servants there is for you no authority, and sufficient is your Lord as disposer of affairs. It is your Lord who drives the ship for you through the sea, that you may seek of his bounty. Indeed, he is ever to you merciful. And when adversity touches you at sea, lost are all those you invoke except for him. But when he delivers you to the land, you turn away from him. And ever is man ungrateful. Then do you feel secure that instead he will not cause a part of the land to swallow you, or send against you a storm of stones? Then you would not find for yourselves an advocate. Or do you feel secure that he will not send you back into it, that is the sea, another time, and send upon you a hurricane of wind, and drown you for what you denied? Then you would not find for yourselves against us an avenger. And we have certainly honoured the children of Adam, and carried them on the land and sea, and provided for them of the good things, and preferred them over much of what we have created with definite preference. Mention, O Muhammad, peace be upon him the day we will call forth every people with their record of deeds. Then whoever is given his record in his right hand, those will read their records, and injustice will not be done to them, even as much as a thread inside the date seed. And whoever is blind in this life will be blind in the hereafter, and more astray in way. And indeed, they were about to tempt you away from that which we reveal to you in order to make you invent about us something else, and then they would have taken you as a friend. And if we had not strengthened you, you would have almost inclined to them a little. Then, if you had, we would have made you taste double punishment in life and double after death. Then you would not find for yourself against us a helper. And indeed, they were about to provoke, that is, drive you from the land, that is, Makkah, to evict you therefrom. And then when they do, they will not remain there after you except for a little. That is our established way for those we had sent before you, of our messengers, and you will not find in our way any alteration. Establish prayer at the decline of the sun from its meridian until the darkness of the night, and also the Qur'an, that is recitation of dawn. Indeed, the recitation of dawn is ever witnessed. And from part of the night pray, with it, that is recitation of the Qur'an, as additional worship for you. It is expected that your Lord will resurrect you to a praised station. And say, My Lord, cause me to enter a sound entrance, and to exit a sound exit, and grant me from yourself a supporting authority. And say, Truth has come, and falsehood has departed. Indeed is falsehood by nature ever bound to depart. And we send down of the Qur'an that which is healing and mercy for the believers, but it does not increase the wrongdoers except in loss. 
And when we bestow favor upon man, that is the disbeliever, he turns away and distances himself. And when evil touches him, he is ever despairing. Say, each works according to his manner, but your Lord is most knowing of who is best guided in way. And they ask you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, about the soul. Say, the soul is of the affair that is the concern of my Lord, and you, that is mankind, have not been given of knowledge except a little. And if we willed, we could surely do away with that which we reveal to you. Then you would not find for yourself concerning it an advocate against us. Except we have left it with you as a mercy from your Lord, indeed his favor upon you has ever been great. Say, if mankind and the jinn gathered in order to produce the like of this Qur'an, they could not produce the like of it, even if they were to each other assistants. And we have certainly diversified for the people in this Qur'an from every kind of example, but most of the people refused except disbelief. And they say, we will not believe you until you break open for us from the ground a spring, or until you have a garden of palm trees and grapes and make rivers gush forth within them in force and abundance. Or you make the heaven fall upon us in fragments, as you have claimed, or you bring Allah and the angels before us. Or you have a house of ornament, that is gold, or you ascend into the sky, and even then we will not believe in your ascension until you bring down to us a book we may read. Say, Exalted is my Lord, was I ever but a human messenger. And what prevented the people from believing when guidance came to them, except that they said, Has Allah sent a human messenger? Say, If there were upon the earth angels walking securely, we would have sent down to them from the heaven an angel as a messenger. Say, Sufficient is Allah as witness between me and you. Indeed, He is ever concerning His servants, acquainted and seeing. And whoever Allah guides, He is the rightly guided. And whoever he sends astray, you will never find for them protectors besides him. And we will gather them on the day of resurrection, fallen on their faces, blind, dumb, and deaf. Their refuge is hell. Every time it subsides, we increase them in blazing fire. That is their recompense because they disbelieved in our verses and said, When we are bones and crumbled particles, will we truly be resurrected in a new creation? Do they not see that Allah who created the heavens and earth is the one able to create the likes of them, and He has appointed for them a term about which there is no doubt, but the wrongdoers refuse except disbelief. Say to them, if you possessed the depositories of the mercy of my Lord, then you would withhold out of fear of spending, and ever has man been stingy. And we had certainly given Moses nine evident signs, so asked the children of Israel about when he came to them. And Pharaoh said to him, Indeed, I think, O Moses, that you are affected by magic. Moses said, You have already known that none has sent down these signs except the Lord of the heavens and the earth as evidence. And indeed, I think, O Pharaoh, that you are destroyed. So he intended to drive them from the land, but we drowned him and those with him altogether. And we said after him, that is Pharaoh, to the children of Israel, Dwell in the land, and when there comes the promise, that is appointment, of the hereafter, we will bring you forth in one gathering. And with the truth we have sent it, that is the Qur'an down, and with the truth it has descended. And we have not sent you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, except as a bringer of good tidings and a warner. And it is a Qur'an which we have separated by intervals, that you might recite it to the people over a prolonged period, and we have sent it down progressively. Say, believe in it, or do not believe. Indeed, those who were given knowledge before it, when it is recited to them, they fall upon their faces in prostration. And they say, Exalted is our Lord. Indeed, the promise of our Lord has been fulfilled. And they fall upon their faces weeping, and it, that is the Qur'an, increases them in humble submission. Say, call upon Allah, or call upon the Most Merciful, Ar-Rahman. Whichever name you call, to Him belong the best names. And do not recite too loudly in your prayer, or too quietly, but seek between that an intermediate way. And say, praise to Allah, who has not taken a son, and has had no partner in His dominion and has no need of a protector out of weakness, and glorify him with great glorification.
This completes Chapter 17, Al-Isra, The Night Journey. Chapter 18, Al-Kahf, The Cave. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. All praise is due to Allah, who has sent down upon his servant Muhammad, peace be upon him, the book, and has not made therein any deviance. He has made it straight, to warn of severe punishment from him, and to give good tidings to the believers who do righteous deeds, that they will have a good reward, that is paradise, in which they will remain forever. And to warn those who say, Allah has taken a son. They have no knowledge of it, nor had their fathers. Grave is the word that comes out of their mouths. They speak not, except a lie. Then perhaps you would kill yourself through grief over them, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, if they do not believe in this message, and out of sorrow. Indeed we have made that which is on the earth adornment for it, that we may test them as to which of them is best indeed. And indeed we will make that which is upon it into a barren ground. Or have you thought that the companions of the cave and the inscription were among our signs a wonder? Mention when the youths retreated to the cave and said, Our Lord, grant us from yourself mercy, and prepare for us from our affair right guidance. So we cast a cover of sleep over their ears within the cave for a number of years. Then we awakened them that we might show which of the two factions was most precise in calculating what extent they had remained in time. It is we who relate to you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, their story in truth. Indeed they were youths who believed in their Lord, and we increased them in guidance. And we bound, that is made firm their hearts, when they stood up and said, Our Lord is the Lord of the heavens and the earth, Never will we invoke besides him any deity. We would have certainly spoken, then an excessive transgression. These, our people, have taken besides him deities. Why do they not bring for worship of them a clear authority? And who is more unjust than one who invents about Allah a lie? The youths said to one another, And when you have withdrawn from them and that which they worship other than Allah, retreat to the cave. Your Lord will spread out for you of His mercy, and will prepare for you from your affair facility. And, had you been present, you would see the sun when it rose, inclining away from their cave on the right, and when it set, passing away from them on the left, while they were laying within an open space thereof. That was from the signs of Allah. He whom Allah guides is the rightly guided, but he whom He leaves astray, never will you find for Him a protecting guide. And you would think them awake while they were asleep. And we turned them to the right and to the left, while their dog stretched his forelegs at the entrance. If you had looked at them, you would have turned from them in flight, and been filled by them with terror. And similarly, we awakened them that they might question one another. Said a speaker from among them, How long have you remained here? They said, We have remained a day or part of a day. They said, Your Lord is most knowing of how long you remained. So send one of you with this silver coin of yours to the city, and let him look to which is the best of food, and bring you provision from it, and let him be cautious, and let no one be aware of you. Indeed, if they come to know of you, they will stone you or return you to their religion, and never would you succeed then, ever. And similarly, we cause them to be found, that they who found them would know that the promise of Allah is truth, and that of the hour there is no doubt, that was when they disputed among themselves about their affair, and then said, Construct over them a structure. Their Lord is most knowing about them, said those who prevailed in the matter, We will surely take for ourselves over them a masjid. They, that is the people, will say there were three, the fourth of them being their dog, and they will say there were five, the sixth of them being their dog, guessing at the unseen and they will say there were seven, and the eighth of them was their dog. Say, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, My Lord is most knowing of their number, none knows them except a few. So do not argue about them except with an obvious argument, and do not inquire about them among the speculators from anyone. And never say of anything, Indeed I will do that tomorrow, except when adding, If Allah wills. And remember your Lord when you forget it, and say, Perhaps my Lord will guide me to what is nearer than this, to right conduct. And they remained in their cave for three hundred years, and exceeded by nine. 
Say, Allah is most knowing of how long they remained. He has knowledge of the unseen aspects of the heavens and the earth, how seeing is he, and how hearing. They have not besides him any protector, and he shares not his legislation with anyone. And recite, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, what has been revealed to you of the book of your Lord. There is no changer of his words, and never will you find in other than him a refuge. And keep yourself patient by being with those who call upon their Lord in the morning and the evening, seeking his countenance. And let not your eyes pass beyond them, desiring adornments of the worldly life. And do not obey one whose heart we have made heedless of our remembrance and who follows his desire, and whose affair is ever in neglect. And say, the truth is from your Lord, so whoever wills, let him believe, and whoever wills, let him disbelieve. Indeed, we have prepared for the wrongdoers a fire, whose walls will surround them, and if they call for relief, they will be relieved with water like murky oil, which scalds their faces. Wretched is the drink, and evil is the resting place. Indeed, those who have believed and done righteous deeds, indeed we will not allow to be lost the reward of any who did well in deeds. Those will have gardens of perpetual residence, beneath them rivers will flow. They will be adorned therein with bracelets of gold, and will wear green garments of fine silk and brocade, reclining therein on adorned couches. Excellent is the reward, and good is the resting place. And present to them an example of two men. We granted to one of them two gardens of grapevines, and we bordered them with palm trees, and placed between them fields of crops. Each of the two gardens produced its fruit, and did not fall short thereof in anything. And we caused to gush forth within them a river, and he had fruit. So he said to his companion while he was conversing with him, I am greater than you in wealth, and mightier in numbers of men. And he entered his garden while he was unjust to himself. He said, I do not think that this will perish ever, and I do not think the hour will occur, and even if I should be brought back to my Lord, I will surely find better than this as a return. His companion said to him while he was conversing with him, Have you disbelieved in he who created you from dust, and then from a sperm drop, and then proportioned you as a man? But as for me, he is Allah my Lord, and I do not associate with my Lord anyone. And why did you, when you entered your garden, not say, What Allah willed has occurred. There is no power except in Allah, although you see me less than you in wealth and children. It may be that my Lord will give me something better than your garden, and will send upon it a calamity from the sky, and it will become a smooth, dusty ground. Or its water will become sunken into the earth, so you would never be able to seek it. And his fruits were encompassed by ruin, so he began to turn his hands about in dismay over what he had spent on it, while it had collapsed upon its trellises, and said, Oh, I wish I had not associated with my Lord anyone. And there was for him no company to aid him other than Allah, nor could he defend himself. There the authority is completely for Allah, the truth. He is best in reward and best in outcome and present to them the example of the life of this world, its being like rain which we send down from the sky, and the vegetation of the earth mingles with it, and then it becomes dry remnants scattered by the winds, and Allah is ever over all things perfect in ability. Wealth and children are but adornment of the worldly life, but the enduring good deeds are better to your Lord, for reward and better for one's hope and warn of the day when we will remove the mountains and you will see the earth prominent and we will gather them and not leave behind from them anyone and they will be presented before your lord in rows and he will say you have certainly come to us just as we created you the first time but you claimed that we would never make for you an appointment and the record of deeds will be placed open, and you will see the criminals fearful of that within it, and they will say, O oh, woe to us! What is this book that leaves nothing small or great except that it has enumerated it? And they will find what they did present before them, and your Lord does injustice to no one. And mention when we said to the angels, Prostrate to Adam, and they prostrated except for Iblis, he was of the jinn and departed from, that is disobeyed, the command of his Lord. 
Then will you take him and his descendants as allies other than me, while they are enemies to you? Wretched it is for the wrongdoers as an exchange. I did not make them witness to the creation of the heavens and the earth, or to the creation of themselves, and I would not have taken the misguiders as assistants. And warn of the day when he will say, Call my partners whom you claimed, and they will invoke them, but they will not respond to them and we will put between them a valley of destruction. And the criminals will see the fire, and will be certain that they are to fall therein, and they will not find from it a way elsewhere. And we have certainly diversified in this Qur'an for the people from every kind of example, but man has ever been most of anything prone to dispute. And nothing has prevented the people from believing when guidance came to them and from asking forgiveness of their Lord, except that there must befall them the accustomed precedent of the former peoples, or that the punishment should come directly before them. And we send not the messengers except as bringers of good tidings and warners, and those who disbelieve dispute by using falsehood to attempt to invalidate thereby the truth, and have taken my verses and that of which they are warned in ridicule. And who is more unjust than one who is reminded of the verses of his Lord, but turns away from them, and forgets what his hands have put forth? Indeed we have placed over their hearts coverings, lest they understand it, and in their ears deafness. And if you invite them to guidance, they will never be guided then, ever. And your Lord is the forgiving full of mercy. If he were to impose blame upon them for what they earned, he would have hastened for them the punishment. Rather, for them is an appointment from which they will never find an escape. And those cities, we destroyed them when they wronged, and we made for their destruction an appointed time. And mention when Moses said to his boy, that is servant, I will not cease traveling until I reach the junction of the two seas, or continue for a long period. But when they reached the junction between them, they forgot their fish, and it took its course into the sea, slipping away. So when they had passed beyond it, Moses said to his boy, Bring us our morning meal. We have certainly suffered in this our journey much fatigue. He said, Did you see when we retired to the rock? Indeed I forgot there the fish, and none made me forget it except Satan, that I should mention it. And it took its course into the sea amazingly. Moses said, that is what we were seeking, so they returned, following their footprints. And they found a servant from among our servants, that is Al-Khidr, to whom we had given mercy from us, and had taught him from us a certain knowledge. Moses said to him, May I follow you on the condition that you teach me, from what you have been taught of sound judgment? He said, Indeed, with me you will never be able to have patience. And how can you have patience for what you do not encompass in knowledge? Moses said, You will find me if Allah wills patient, and I will not disobey you in any order. He said, Then if you follow me, do not ask me about anything until I make to you about it mention that is explanation. So they set out, until when they had embarked on the ship, he, that is Al-Khidr, tore it open. Moses said, Have you torn it open to drown its people? You have certainly done a grave thing. Al-Khidr said, did I not say that with me you would never be able to have patience? Moses said, Do not blame me for what I forgot, and do not cover me in my matter with difficulty. So they set out, until when they met a boy, he, that is Al-Khidr, killed him. Moses said, Have you killed a pure soul for other than having killed a soul? You have certainly done a deplorable thing. 